Hey, hi, and welcome. It's Megan here. Welcome back to another vlog. I figured I'd show my everyday makeup routine so I can have a designated video um, to share like what kind of makeup I do. And then we'll go on this little solo date. So let's get into it. Ooh, we're all up close and personal. Um, I guess I should have clipped my hair back, but it's fine. To start, I like this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And I just do one little pump of that and spread it all over my face. And then I just kind of let that dry and set in. This little one gets super messy, but Revlon Color Stay in the shade 440 Mahogany. I go in with a Real Techniques brush. This is the Expert Face Brush. Now once that's blended all out, I'm just going to go in with this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer with the Satin Finish in the color Deep Chestnut. I just go under like this and then like this, little right here and a little right here. I go in with a Real Techniques sponge, mine's dirty, don't, don't judge me, uh, with a Real Techniques sponge and just blend that out. Um, this is your reminder to wash your makeup brushes because that's what I need to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Lasting Fix Translucent Setting Powder in the color Banana. Just a little bit of the excess off. And I basically just put that where I put the concealer. And I just kinda brush it out. This little triangular powder puff that I got from Amazon and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder in the color 355, which is also coconut. I just dab into this, you can see it, and then I just press it under my eyes. I feel like this just helps to further set my makeup and helps me not get as oily throughout the day. Now I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Kabuki brush and I'm gonna use that same powder, the Maybelline Fit Me powder, and just kind of brush that into the rest of my face to set the rest of like my foundation and stuff and just to smooth out anything that's not blending. Using another Real Techniques brush, they all come in the same um, thing together. This is the Buffing Brush Sweet Cheeks Blush from the brand NYX. Um, I like this one. It's pretty pigmented, super affordable. I also do some up here because in my everyday makeup, I don't do eyeshadow because I try to keep it very simple. So there we go. Now I'm gonna brush my eyebrows and just add a little of a, my, the NYX Micro Brow in the shade Dark Brown. So I just brush them. Normally I would brush it with the other end, but I broke it. So this is just another uh, eyebrow spoolie. And then I just kind of fill in my brows like that. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Last Longwear Eye Pencil in the shade Black. Lash Paradise from the brand L'Oreal. And this is also in the shade either black or blackest black. This is the MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil. And then I go in with this Juvia's Place lipstick. It's like a nude color in the shade Muted. Finally, I go in with the Fenty Beauty 
Fenty Glow Heat Gloss Balm number three. Um, it's like almost like a nude gloss shade. And I just kind of put that, focus it in the middle where the lighter color is. And then rub my lips together. And that is the lip combo. On an everyday basis, I use this e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. It's this one, um, just so I can have any type of setting spray. This is the finished makeup look for my everyday makeup routine. Let's get dressed now. I'm gonna wear this little skirt set from Pretty Little Thing. It's pretty casual, but it's cute. And then I'm just gonna wear my Tory Burch flip flops. They're a little distressed at the bottom, but they're still really pretty on top with the uh, gold. This is the set. You can't see my shoe, but it's just the flip flop. And um, yeah, this is it. I think it's super cute. It's slightly wrinkled, but we're not gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna take my Michael Kors like old purse because uh, it has the gold detailing and it's big, you know. I don't know. I like to have stuff with me just in case like I want to take pictures of myself, you know, I'm vlogging, stuff like that. So normally I would take like just a cute little crossbody, but just to make my life easier, that's the purse. So this is the look for the night. And then for fragrance, I'm gonna do this YSL's Black Opium. I only wear this on special occasions because it's expensive. Um, this was actually a gift from my dad for my birthday. So I really do not wear it for real. Usually if I buy perfume, I'll get like the little dossier ones. It smells just like it. Perfect. Okay, so I just ordered my Uber. Uh, I decided to do an Uber because it's cheaper than valeting. And um, honestly, it stressed me out to drive here. I'm super excited. I've never been to this restaurant. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys. I'm going to STK. It's like a steakhouse. I think it's a chain restaurant. So I think it's in other cities in the US. I've never been. And today I'm going to the one in South Beach. And I booked my reservation this morning for one. And I think I did the outdoor seating. So hopefully I like the outdoor seating. Hopefully it's cute. It's not too hot, but yeah. So yeah, my Uber, it'll be here. I think it said four minutes. Let me look. made it into the restaurant i'm not going to talk too much because the music's super loud but it's so pretty in here Okay guys, I'm at the hotel next door and I just ordered an Uber really quick, so I just wanted to update you. And then I'll talk to you when I get home because it's super loud. I couldn't walk because it started like pouring, so I had to like, 
wait for an Uber. Uh, since that restaurant is at a hotel, I kind of was just sitting in like the little hotel area. Oh my gosh, why was my Uber driver driving a Tesla? I was <laughs> so bougie. It was so cool. Um, this is like only the second time I've ever been in a Tesla ever. So it was super cool. He was super nice too. He says he does real estate and all that stuff. And he just does Uber on the side when it rains because that's when a lot of people call, which is what happened to me because I was really planning to walk. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot. Oh, my air's not on. Oh, gee. I'm like... I forgot. I turned my air off so it would be quieter for you guys when I did my makeup routine. No. And I forgot to turn it back on. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, that was such a great place for a happy hour. I literally... I'm sitting on my blanket on my bed, so it's blocking me from sitting on my actual like comforter, but um, oh my gosh, I actually really enjoyed that place. The food that I got was good. I got the, the falafel and chili tahini. I got the short rib quesadillas and the little burger with truffle fries. Everything was really good. Like the only thing I'll say on the burger, I could have got the sauce on the side, which I normally do that on burgers. I just forgot. Uh, it wasn't bad sauce. I just, I'm not like a big sauce person because sometimes I don't really like the sauces. And it ended up being uh, only like $30, like $31 with the tip. And I gave a 20% tip. I also got the Guava Berry Kiss uh, cocktail. It's Hendrix Gin Strawberry real guava and fresh lime yes it was really good i liked it it was a little sweet like it was a sweet cocktail but it wasn't too sweet i liked it. it it was good all the food was really good my server was super nice i felt really comfortable there like i didn't even have that weird feeling of like like that i normally have if i try to go out during dinner or happy hour i sometimes have like that weird feeling where People are judging me for being alone, like where I don't have any friends or like I got stood up on a date. And I know that's crazy because like, why would I think that? No one has ever given me any reason to think that. But that's sometimes how I feel when I go out to dinner. Like going out to a coffee shop, going out for lunch doesn't faze me at all. But something about happy hour and dinner, it just really makes me feel awkward. I'm so happy today I didn't feel awkward. Like. I think I'm finally getting to the point now where I feel really comfortable doing a lot of things by myself. Like even before I moved here to Miami, I was always very comfortable doing stuff by myself, but I realized I never used to go to dinner or like to a happy hour by myself. And I was kind of paranoid of getting in like Ubers by myself unless I just absolutely had to. And so I think now like being here alone and having if I want to explore places, I have to go alone. It's giving me a lot more, I guess, independence, so to speak, and feeling comfortable. And like even like having to talk to so many people, like I think my job has really helped me to get better with like small talk. Like now if I'm ever sitting at like a bar, I don't feel awkward. Like I can like make small talk with the people next to me. And I feel like before I become a flight attendant, first of all i wasn't about to sit by i wasn't gonna sit at a bar because i and i wasn't if i did sit at a bar i would sit as far away from people as possible so they wouldn't talk to me and like now i don't necessarily do that so i feel like it's it's very much growth i'm very excited about it um but yeah i had a really great time now i will say some of the other food the people around me like one of this well, the couple next to me they were at a table like across from mine they were celebrating their 28th i think anniversary you know i'm nosy <laughs> i heard them talking uh they were celebrating their 28th anniversary and their food looked real good they got like something off the date menu so that's definitely a nice date place the, the ambiance was really nice they had fun music like at one point i wanted to get up and start dancing like i really i had a good time and I didn't spend too much money, which I'm grateful for because sometimes I go places in Miami and I just feel like, oh, I don't want to spend that. I don't have it. Because <laughs> like my job as a flight attendant does not pay me enough to live here. It just doesn't. 
so I am on a very tight budget but I have to put eating out on my budget because I'm one of those people okay but we're not talking about my budget right now I just wanted to share I had so much fun I highly recommend if anybody's watching this like definitely go on a solo date especially if it scares you if you if you feel weird or even if it doesn't scare you even if it doesn't scare you and you do it all the time just do it again anyway go to a restaurant you've never been to before and go to like a happy hour just to change it up it'll be fun and if you never go on solo dates i definitely recommend going because you feel i i just feel really good like i feel accomplished i feel like i did something out of my comfort zone and overall i'm just really happy so um let me know down in the comments below like your favorite like date night solo date places or if you've ever been to miami any places you think i should go to and let me know if you're gonna go on a solo date soon so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in my next one love you guys bye